So hand, hand surgery um, is pretty much the last resort. So usually when I see patients uh, in my clinic, they would have already seen a hand therapist or their GP or, or someone they would have used splints. So when they come to see me, um, they're usually, you know, having very severe symptoms that does affect their activities of daily living, um, impacts on their quality of life. And if it's, if it's a condition that um, where I know that I can improve surgically, then this is the point when we discuss surgery. So it is the last resort in, you know, in several treatment options. Hand surgery is, is a very wide topic. So the, I do a quite big range of hand operations. Um, the majority of the hand operations I do under local anesthetic. This would include trigger finger surgery, surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, but I also do fairly complex operations, uh, including Dupuytren's release or revision Dupuytren's release, which often then involve a general anesthetic. Um, the majority of hand operations will last anywhere between 20 minutes um, and two to three hours, but almost all of my patients will go home on the same day. Even the ones with complex surgeries, they will, will be done as a day, day case procedure. Um, often um, with these operations, patients will have local anesthetic or even a block for pain control. So usually um, the first, first six to eight hours, there's no pain. And then there will be some pain from the surgery, which can be managed with simple painkillers. Then after the operation, patients will be seen by a hand therapist. Um, and often um, we'll have splints or, or dressings applied. And for most of my operations, um, the stitches I use to close the wounds will be removed at about 10 days. Fortunately, complications in hand surgery are rare. Um, these operations are usually done in a bloodless field. Um, and I tend to use um, loop magnification so I can expose all the nerves and blood vessels in the hand. Um, but every operation does have a complication, potential complications. So there is a small risk of infection, which I usually quote as less than 1%. Um, there's a small risk of uh, bleeding after these, the surgery, but again, it's extremely rare. Uh, and for more complex operations, such as uh, Dupuytren's disease, there's a risk of damaging nerves and vessels. Uh, but this will be discussed in detail prior to each operation. So it depends very much um, on the actual operation. Um, for the most common procedures that I do, carpal tunnel release, uh, trigger finger release, um, these are done under local anesthetic and these are quick procedures, usually less than 10 minutes, um, just the operating time. Um, but some of the more uh, complex operations like um, a trapeziectomy and a ligament reconstruction or a Dupuytren's um, release, these can often take 90 minutes or more for very complex operations that I do, uh, like revision surgery, uh, these can take even up to three hours. And um, again, the recovery very much depends on the actual operation. Um, usually for minor procedures such as carpal tunnel release, um, I would expect, um, you know, the, the recovery to last less than four weeks to get reasonable hand function back. Um, it often takes a bit longer to get the grip strength back, but for these procedures, my patients will be able to drive after approximately four to six weeks after the operation. For the complex procedures that involve, um, um, extensive, extensive tissue releases and um, post-operative splintage and the recovery can take uh, several weeks lasting anywhere from four to eight weeks. Um, again, it, it really depends on the operation um, and on, on the rehab program. 